Hi, this is a video on a um, local net controller I'm building. Uh, this first one that you see here, I uh, have a previous video on it. It's based on the um, Arduino Uno that you can see on the bottom. And then this board is a shield type thing that you plug in on top. And um, the, the two black squares is where you have your uh, local net connection in and out. And then um, you can power it from the on the right side where you have those two blue uh, screw in terminals. And then you have a, a, str a string of uh, blue, you can see it screw in on the top and bottom. That's where the, uh, I think there's eight on one side and uh, eight on the other. Uh, yeah, so it's a 16 input uh, board. Uh, so basically you connect it, it's a local net adapter, right? You connect it to your local net uh, uh, command station. And then as you uh, trigger each one of those uh, inputs low, well, then it sends a, a signal to your, uh, you know, the right ad, the appropriate address to your command station, so you can trigger uh, switches or lights or whatever it is you need. So uh, that's a kit that I bought uh, online. So, uh, like I said, I mentioned it before. Then, following that, I went and had another project I saw online. I'll put a link in the in the show notes. And um, there's this uh, uh, this blue. I made two. There's actually three choices of boards that the designer made. So there's this blue one, and then there's this uh, red one over here. And uh, basically it has four inputs, and I, I've assembled the board next to it. That, that's a blank board. I, here's the blue board that's assembled. So basically you have four inputs, well, four input outputs. For You, you can use it for, like, you know, they're bi-directional, the inputs, uh, uh, the RJ12 um, connectors. So here it's, uh, you're not using an Arduino. And instead of using a screw in terminals, I have uh, a pins. So you would use a wire a harness that you can push on there. And each one of these boards has 32. So basically it's a double uh, what the other board is and you don't need the Arduino. And uh, so that's what this guy looks like. And this is using, I think the same type, there's a little black chip that you see there between the connectors. That's, um, that's a comparator and that's how it checks to see uh, you know the signal to create the, the, the logic to go to the uh, the command station but then there's another way of doing it and it's using some other different components so you could see here the, the RJ45 or RJ12 connectors are differently placed in this one um, but the rest of the chip is all set up but then you have a capacitor and some little parts and that's used for that's what they call a voltage divider so um, it's Basically, you're kind of doing the same thing, but a different way. So some guys say, you know, depending on if you have a very large layout, uh, you know, maybe, I don't know, interference or however they work, there's a difference. So anyway, you can check on the on the link to see how they actually, they, they, they compare to each other. And this, this is, again, the same board with a little less components. And in this case, what happens is you can see the R, two of the RJ12 uh, uh, connectors are uh, stand up. So, uh, you know, depending on what pieces you buy, uh, you can, you know, put it together a different way. So, uh, I'm going to, these are 16 inputs, each one of these boards, 16 inputs, and I have some bunch of blind boards and stuff, and those chips are not very expensive. So, uh, I have a few extra boards for later on. And, oh yeah, the other thing is on the, you can see the connector, uh, there's a six-pin connector on the left side of the board, on the edge, the red connector. And here you can see it's a green connector, and there I put a green connector. That's a a, a pick kit interface. It's like a, a, a standard five or six pin connector. So you can actually solder the IC directly to this board, or put it in a in a socket if you want. But to, to program it with the uh, with the uh, the logic, in, in this case, you know, like well, sorry, in the other case, Arduino. You know, you you in the Uno you plug the uh, you program the Arduino with the IDE software and you, you connect it that way. But for this guy, what happens is you have to use some other hardware that you might not have available. So uh, that's the tricky thing with building these boards because it's not like an Arduino. It's similar to an Arduino, but you need other hardware to be able to interface this chip to your PC so that you can cover, uh, copy the, uh, the files needed to make this chip run uh, properly. Again, it's, since it's programmable, you can have it, uh, you know, give it different instructions to run uh, uh, differently. You, know, you might uh, have it set up as inputs and outputs or a mix of both. I'm not sure exactly. But basically, it's, since it's programmable, you have a flexibility there. 
So just wanted to show you uh, what that looks like up close. You might see a little flashing of the f my fan is in the background there spinning so it might be giving a, a glare. Sorry. That's the other board. Then here's the blank PCB. The red one. And the other board. And that's the Arduino Uno version. Alright, thanks for listening. Bye.